Hello and welcome. We're going to do another video here on setting up OBS to work with streaming uh, in YouTube. And uh, a couple of, we're just going to talk about adding some scenes and some sources to scenes and some specific types of sources in particular that uh, we're going to be adding movies uh, that you want to play during your um, broadcast. And so in this case we're talking about announcements and some of the ones that uh, some of the different types of movies that you can imagine uh, to be used here would be like a, maybe an intro kind of bumper music with some animation uh, or a flag if you're going to do the Pledge of Allegiance and we're going to bring these both in and show you the different kinds of setups so first of all I'm going to go ahead and we're going to bring in the intro video and so I created a scene over here called intro and we're going to click the plus under sources and we're going to go out there and we're going to try to find media source is what we're looking for here so we're going to click on media source and we're going to call this um, intro slide and we want to make the source visible we're going to click OK and so what we need to do is we need to go out and find this now here's something that you want to kind of keep in mind here and that is that all of these videos I would keep them in one place on your desktop uh, if you move them around then OBS can't find those sources so uh, I put these in a folder called videos for streaming so I'm going to click browse uh, there's that video right there and I'm going to use this one it's called WSCE news so we'll open that up and you won't see anything up in here one of the things since this is like an intro we're going to go ahead and click loop on this and that way it, it can continually play until we're start until we're ready to start um, the broadcast so I'm going to go ahead and click OK and so there you see it's coming in and you won't actually be, be able to hear um, I have some music playing in the background but I want you to notice over here the slide has its own sound and it's going but also it's picking up the mic by default it picks up the mic and one of the things I'm going to do you want to be able to have some quiet while this is going on so I'm going to click that to quiet the mic okay so there's my little introduction video and that can be playing until we start the stream button the, so the next one we have here is called is the pledge and so I went out and found basically a video of a waving flag and we're going to go ahead and the same thing kick on the click on the plus sign and I'm going to look for a, a media source I'm going to call this one flag because that's what it is and I'm going to browse for it and there it is and the file type here I've had luck with mp4s haven't had luck with any other types of file, uh, file types so if you can get it to mp4 that's great I'm gonna go ahead and loop this one also because I'm not sure how long it goes I can't remember um, but it'll go until you click stop so I'm gonna click OK and there that is it comes in there's really no resizing that has to be done here on this because uh, we have the correct dimensions now one of the things that remember the last time I I unchecked the the mic and I don't like the mic that's coming through my computer so I'm going to go ahead and add a, an audio source and this will show you how to do that so I'm going to add an audio input capture device and I already have one out there called snowball so I'm just going to go ahead and click add existing and choose my sm snowball mic and click OK and so you want to have the sound going during the pledge because you're going to have students reciting the pledge hopefully on your video and so that's adding the video to your um, to your stream now you can do this think of this if you're um, doing any other kind of you know you could have commercials for a um, an upcoming dance or uh, I know that one of the things that we do is with with the pennies we collect pennies and kids will create videos and say which you know charity they want to um, 
want to give them to. So you, this is a great way to, to do some stuff that's not live, but then bring it in and put it into your live announcements. All right, so that's adding video as a media source to your OBS uh, software to be used while streaming.